Season 1, Episode 11, The Great Divide. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I thought he was going to suggest that they should fight each other, and I that would have been really funny. Momo does not like that. <laughs> That is really pretty, okay. actually. Alright, Sokka, thanks. <laughs> this is the largest canyon in the entire world. And I'm sure we'll be able to see it very clearly from the air while we fly away. Hey, if you're looking for the canyon guide, I was here first. I'm sorry? Who are you? Ooh. Sounds like a you problem. Huh, tell me something I don't know. Is that your tribe? It most certainly is not. Is that Fire Nation? Oh, it's not. Okay. Why are you so dramatic? Oh, that's the Earthbender. <laughs> the guide. Everybody's on their way. I can't guide people who aren't here. Guess you guys will have to take the trip tomorrow. Wait, here they come. Oh. Okay. You're not seriously going to cave in to these spoiled ganjins. I mean, we're refugees too. How much you want to bet he's going to take them together? That's going to be a bad idea. Well, that's a stupid argument. <laughs> that's a lot of pressure to put on him. Nice. Good one. Good one, Aang. Sorry, Appa. You'll have to do this on your own. Disputing tribes is not the serious business. No fool. How how far is it? Oh, it's only a day, okay. Dang. Appa's gonna take good care of you till we get there. See you on the other side, buddy. Yip yip. Uh, 
I couldn't have oh like going a day without food is not that hard in my opinion but having to trek this entire canyon and do it without having any food for fuel that's insane Nice. Totally fair. Um. Yeah, what is that? What am I even looking at? I don't know. That is hideous. I hate that. Don't tell me it's going to kill the tour guy and then Aang's going to have to take over leading them. That's probably what's going to happen. Assuming Sokka doesn't get himself killed first. Best time to learn how to earth bend. Any ideas? Well, you will if you can't get out, so, um, yeah, you <laughs> gotta work on that. Yep, looks like Aang here is gonna have to take up the leadership position. Dude, it was literally no one's fault. Oh no. We like to use the tarp as a blanket. Oh no. He is in an echo chamber. Oh no. <laughs> He's going to fall in love with these people, and I bet you Katara is going to fall in love with the other people. Because they're probably echo chambers for each other. Someone gets you. Oh no. You really think it'll rain? No more. But you can never be too right? <laughs> Oh, they are definitely in their own echo chambers. Okay, so it's their fault that your guide got attacked. Well, great. <laughs> well, I guess it's okay if everyone's doing it. That's not true. So, why does your tribe hate the Zhang so much? You seem like a smart girl, Katara. I bet you would enjoy hearing some history. I would. Some war on this, that'd be nice. Sick. Duty, transporting our sacred ore from the great eastern gate to the great western gate in me. That coward Wei Jin knocked Jin Wei to the ground and stole our sacred ore. Huh. Our people have never forgotten. You can never trust a Zhang. I guarantee you that the Zhang will have a completely different story, and I don't even know which ones I'm going to have to believe. I bet both of them are lying to make themselves look better, though. Because I guarantee you we'll hear their side of the story when Sokka uh, talks to them about it. Yep, they do have food, too. <laughs>
they probably assume we brought food in and decided to bring food in themselves. That's why we brought food in. Hmm. Right. Oh, Sokka didn't even ask. <laughs> I like the animation style here. The story makes more sense, actually, to me, because it's still the same events. You know, they made it to the gate. He took the orb. But this time, instead of he, we just randomly attacked and they took the orb with Envy, this one actually gives a reason as to why he took the orb. But this one could also be fake, too. I don't know what story I believe. They're probably both fake, to be honest with you. Wow. It's Hara from Saka. Will these people cooperate long enough to get out of the canyon? I don't think so, Aang. The Shangs really wronged the Ganjins. They ambushed Jin Wei and stole the sacred orb. What are you talking about? Yeah, Katara, what are you talking about? Wei Jin didn't steal the orb. He was returning it to their village gate and was wrongfully Mm, see. Yeah, we need your help. Let's get everyone together at the base of the canyon wall. Not only were they in their were they in their own echo chambers with just the even the whole tent situation to make it basic, but the stories they were told are literally turning them against each other, which I find really interesting. Perhaps. No, he definitely is. <laughs> Harsh words will never solve our they're going to fight. Oh, they're going to fight. Yep. <laughs> you know, it's funny. At the beginning of the episode, I'm like, oh, I thought when Aang said that he was going to ask them to fight. And then I'm like, okay, well, he didn't. Well, that's how they interpreted it by the end of the episode. So I guess I was kind of right. with school actually nice Is that food from both of them uh-huh yep True. Nah, I agree. What? <laughs> nope, you can't have the food. You gotta overcome it. Overcome the desires. Big ground pound. Now let's go. Now follow me. Yep. Riding out of this hole. Oh, we're riding all the oh, okay, I see, I see.
there's a lot more bugs than I thought there were. Holy freak, that is a lot. Ah, oh, the music is sick. I love the theme to this show. True, but you can overcome it. See, now I actually want to hear what actually happened. But even though you can't change history, you can still change the future. Really? I love the conflicting art styles. Oh! Oh. They were just playing a game. Secret or from the legend? That was the ball. <laughs> the goal post. Jinwei had the ball and was running toward the goal when he fell off. Seriously, this is what the story is? He picked it up and started running it back toward the other goal. But he stepped out of bounds. So the official put him in the penalty box. Not for 20 long years, but for two short minutes. There was no stealing and no putting in. Really? They made it sound so, like such a big deal. It's so dramatic. Like they ventured over the hundreds of miles to deliver this magic orb, and it was a a ball. <laughs> Again, True. I suppose it's time we forget the past. And it represents each tribe. Literally. I can't believe they were eight-year-olds playing a game. That is so funny. Good to see you, boy. You could call it luck, or you could call it lying. What? I made the whole thing up. Honestly, uh, yeah, okay. I can understand how he made it up. Because what he made up was so stupid. But I just, I believed it because I assumed he was telling the truth. Honestly, sometimes you have to lie. <laughs> I guess we'll never know what actually happened. But hey, it made them be peaceful. Actually, the more I think about it, the more it sounded like he was piecing the story together bit by bit. He's like, yeah, they were actually twin brothers, and they were eight, and they were playing a game with a ball like the way he was speaking now that I think about it yeah he was definitely just making it up on the spot that's actually really funny so I, yeah I guess we'll never know what happened but who cares because the tribes are at peace now for the time being anyways solid episode I like this I like this little uh, trek across this canyon uh and the conflicting tribes I like how you know from the beginning of the episode Katara and Sokka are you know arguing over the tent and the firewood and all that and then they go into their, you know, they split off into these tribes and literally are echo chambers for themselves and then start stringing them against each other. And then they realize, this is a stupid feud. Let's just get out of here and stuff while, you know, Aang is trying to be the peacekeeper, the middleman the entire time. And it did end up working out in the end, but he could, he was growing incre uh, increasingly frustrated, uh, rightfully so, in my opinion. But yeah, both tribes suck. I, that's how, that's honestly what I have to say. They all suck in this episode. <laughs> but yeah, episode overall was really fun. It was interesting. I like seeing the dynamic between the different tribes. Katara and Sokka and this, you know, arguing because they are siblings. Um, yeah, I just, I liked the whole episode in general. It was, it was nice. It was interesting and pretty unique for the show so far from the 10 other episodes that I've seen. And uh, yeah, Aang did a pretty good job of being the peacekeeper, I will say. So... Yeah, very solid episode. I thoroughly enjoyed it, actually. And a somewhat happy ending. I mean, it was a happy ending, but also Aang did have to lie to everyone. But, you know, if it caused a happy ending, who actually cares? Uh, but yeah, pretty simple episode. Not like a, a ton didn't really happen. This wasn't very lore-heavy. Kind of, for lack of better words, feels like a filler episode, but doesn't mean it was a bad episode. Filler can be good. There's a lot of great filler episodes. This seems just like one of those. Um, but I did really enjoy it, so...
yeah, The Great Divide, awesome. Also, the artwork in this was really nice. I, I like all the Red Rock stuff. I think it looked pretty. But yeah, uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.